Shalom Israel, Yahweh Bashmael Shai Baha Shimra Kak with Dash Braka Thumb to the elect of Yashallah, right? That's scattered around the world, man. To the Israelites, to the hopeful elect of Israel that's scattered around the world. Yahweh Bashmael Shai, bless you, man, all right? And I just woke up, it's like around 8 15 a.m., okay? And I basically came online to see, you know, what's popping on YouTube. As you can see, um, I'm on YouTube here, this is my account. Okay, and um, basically I was just looking at the videos that have put, been put up in, within the last hour or so. And what um, grabbed my attention was a couple videos that RT News, you know, put up within the last hour. Okay, because basically they just put up two videos that's going into, you know, the prophecy of the mark of the beast, right? That you read about in Revelation 13 and 16. As you can see, the first video they put up is a video entitled um, Making of a Biohacker. Tyler gets an implant, okay, and this was put up like an hour ago, okay. Then they put up another video within the same hour entitled Making of a Biohacker, Amal Gafstra interview, okay. And the reason why um, they're putting up these, these videos is because this implantable RFID slash NFC microchip, which is the mark of the beast, okay, is mainstream right now, man. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, Bashem Rakak Dash. Is speeding things up, man. All right, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, is speeding things up, man. All right, this this prophecy of the mark of the beast is fast approaching, man. Okay, and um, hey, man, you Jakes out there, you Israelites out there, you so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans, you need to know what time you're living in, man. You need to recognize what time you're living in, man. You see, you see the time we're living in. We're living in the last days, man. Where Esau, Edom, the Edomites, your enemy, okay. Your your um natural born enemy, these so called white people, they're elite, right? The elite of these Edomites, they're about to make this thing mandatory, man. All right, they make they're about to make the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, mandatory, man. Okay? That's why it says in um Habakkuk chapter two, verse three, that at the end it shall speak and not lie, man. All right? Because you when you watch these videos, especially this one here, you know, where it says um making of a biohacker, a mild gastro, this dude is talking about how um, this implantable microchip, you know, by, you know, very soon, everyone's going to have it, man. Okay, they're going to have it implanted in their body. He was speaking about how it's going to be implanted in their brain, you know, and that's, that goes directly with the prophecy that you read about in Revelation 13 and 16 about he calls if all, um, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark um, in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, that's what it says in the scripture, man. Right, and the he that's being spoken about there is talking about these Edomites, man. All right, speaking about the elite of Esau Edom. You know, when you read really, when you go into the the that chapter as a whole, you know, Revelation 13, um, the Apostle John on the Isle of Patmos around 2,000 years ago. You know, he was speaking, you know, regarding um the Roman Empire. Okay, and he saw the Roman Empire as a, as a beast, right? But that Roman Empire that was back there 2,000 years ago, that's being you know revised, if you will. In these last days, man, through NATO and the EU, man, that's being led by Esau Edom, okay? So the he, where it says he calls if all, both small and great, that's speaking about these Edomites, man, the elite of Esau Edom. That's going to force and make mandatory for the masses of people to try and take that microchip, man, right? But we know, um, according to the scriptures, that the elect of Israel, right, the elect of Israel that's scattered around the world, they're not going to take that chip by any means necessary, man, Okay? But my message to, you know, you Jakes out there that are not quite yet in the know is that this RFID chip, the mark of the beast, is fastly approaching, man. And that's why this thing is so mainstream, okay? Within the last hour, two videos from RT News, which is a reputable um, uh, news station, if you will, has put up two videos regarding this thing, man, okay? So you Jakes out there, you need to recognize the time you live in, man. You know, go read a revelation. You know what? I'll get it for you. You know, let me just get Revelation 14 real quick. Because um, any of you Jakes that, you know, take that, that chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. Right? You're going to be destroyed by a nuclear fire, man. And that's that's the judgment that's coming to the masses of people that take that chip. You know, which there's a lot of people that have, to, that have got that chip right now. And they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, this is Revelation 14, verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image... And receive his mark in his forehead or his hand right now this is the apostle john on the isle of patmos 2000 years ago right seeing the vision of the masses of people that receive the mark of the beast which is this implantable rfid slash 
uh, NFC microchip, okay? He's seeing the vision of them being destroyed, basically. I read it again. It says, and if, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, right? What it means to worship the beast means to entirely give yourself over to Esau, Edom's system, okay? You know, this, this new revised Roman Empire, okay? It says, if any man worship the beast and his image, okay, which is, you know, his philosophies, his doctrines, right? It says, and receive his mark, which when you go into this word mark in the Greek is karagma, right? Which means an imprint, right? When you imprint something, right? Or, you, you know, you make an incision because what, what's synonymous with imprint? Implant, man, right? So what are they going to implant? This imp implantable microchip, right? It says, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand because, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of people out there, they're going to receive this uh, RFID chip in their brain okay and they're obviously going to receive it in their hands if you receive it anywhere in your body right this is verse 10 it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high right and his name is yahweh and his son, his son's name is yahweh shai okay and and you know their wrath is going to come in form of nuclear fire it says which is poured out with without mixture into the cup of his indignation the word indignation means righteous anger because the heavenly father yahweh bash is going to have a righteous anger towards his people that received this chip okay because he's warned them right he's warned them through his his servants all right the, the prophets okay and it also says in leviticus 19 and 28 that if you you know you know you can't you can't you know mark anything on your body man okay so the lord can have a righteous anger towards you if you take it man okay that's the message to you israelites you so-called black latinos and Native americans read leviticus 19 and 28 okay because it's law not to receive this chip it says and he and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb right and that fire is going to come in form of nuclear fire man right all these uh various different nations around the world all these various different countries around the world they're building up their nuclear missiles man right and that those are the weapons of your bash mal shai to destroy anyone that receives that chip okay and the, and the, the the presence of the holy angels that's going into the angels man right the angels that's going to come with the heavenly son your shai man in that day Right, and that's also going into the brothers, you know, that, that get beamed up out of here, man. You're going to be tormented in, in their sight, and it says in the presence of the Lamb. The Lamb is going into our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. Right, and why is he the Lamb? Because he was the ultimate sacrifice, really for our, for our whole nation, man. Right, because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, done away with our sacrifices, man. You know, so he sent his Son, Yahweh Shai, to be the ultimate sacrifice for us, man. Okay, and the elect of Israel. You know, his his blood is gonna cover is gonna cover their sins, man. And that's why you need to pray to Yahweh Bash Mel Shai that you're a part of the elect. Right? So I'm gonna quickly go back to the scripture that I lined up before I pull this up, which was in um Isaiah uh, 55, right? I'm gonna close out with this. This is Isaiah 55. Um let me see. I'm gonna go to verse 6 real quick. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So right off the bat. It's implying that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shad, the time is going to come where he's not going to be found, man. All right? And where can you find the Lord? Out there on the highways and byways, man. Out there on the, on the street corners, man. Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shad, has been gracious and merciful enough to send forth his prophets in these last days. To send you a message, man. Right? To let you know what's going on. To let you know who you are, man. Okay? So it says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. All right? Because why? He's got his prophets out there on the highways and byways every week, man, okay? And I'm speaking about the apostles of Great Millstone and the men of Great Millstone, man, because we're going out there diligently, week in, week out, every season throughout the whole year, man, right? Breaking down the Bible. It says, call ye upon him while he is near, man, right? And how do you uh, call on the Lord? In order to call on the Lord, you need to know his name, man, okay? In order to call on, your how on the Lord, you need to know his name, man. You're not telling you his name in these churches that you'd be going to on Sunday mornings, man. Okay, where can you find the name of the Lord? When you go to the prophets of the Lord, man. When you go to the servants of the Lord, man. His true servants that are actually out there. Okay, that he's revealed his name unto. Because what does it say in Amos 3 and 7? Surely the Lord will do nothing but revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Okay, the prophets of Israel. Right, and we have we have the true secrets of the Bible, man. You know, we have the, the, the true secrets of the Bible, man. We have the secrets of these prophecies, the mysteries of these prophecies, and we're, re we're revealing them unto you, man. And we have, ultimately, we have, you know, the Lord's name, and the, the true name of the Lord, man. Okay? We have the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, 
who you ignorantly call God, and his son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. That's their names, man, right? And you Israelites out there are commanded to pray to those names, man, right? That's why we say Yahweh, right, which is the name of the Father, Baha Shem, right, which means in the name, Yahweh Shai, which is the, the name of the Son, man, our Lord and Savior, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Baha Shem, again, in the name, Rakar Kodash, right, which is the Holy Spirit, right, which is the spirit of understanding. And that's what you uh, Israelites out there need, man. Right, you need the spirit of understanding right now because we're living in treacherous times. You know, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is about to bring great death, great destruction, man. Right, great famine, right, and you don't want to take part in that. That's why this, the the Lord is saying, seek you the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, while he may be found, man. Okay, because the time is gonna come when the Lord is gonna take us prophets off of the streets, man. Okay, he's gonna shut down the internet, and you know the masses of people are gonna be left out there, man. Right, so I'm gonna quickly go down to verse ten. And then, you know, close out from there. This is Isaiah 55, verse 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither. So as you can see, right off the bat, we're dealing with, you know, uh, the rainy season, the snow season, if you will. It says, But watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11, and here's the point. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, all right? And the Lord's word is coming forth out of his mouth right now by way of his servants, by way of his prophets, okay, that are back here in the reincarnation, man. Because every prophet that you read about in the Bible, okay, they're all back here in the reincarnation, man, breaking down the Bible for you, man, okay? From Isaiah himself, okay, from Malachi, Amos, Nahum, right? Zechariah, Zephaniah, um, let me see, uh, um, Hosea, okay, Zephaniah, Right, all these great prophets are back here in the reincarnation, man. All right, and all the prophets that you know are in the Bible, because there's more than just those um, prophets that I, I mentioned in the Bible. Hey, they're all back here in the lot, man, doing the work of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, speaking on behalf of the Lord. Okay, I read this again. It says, "So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth." So as you read, you know, in the verse above, it says, "For as rain cometh down and snow from heaven and returneth not hither," that's how the Lord's word is going to come out, man. Right. And that's what's taking place, man. The, words, the, the word of, the, of Yahweh Bashmah Hashai is coming down like rain right now, man. Okay? You know, to shower upon the hopeful elect. You know? It says, it shall not return unto me void. So what's not going to return unto the Lord uh, void? What he says, man. You know, he, mainly his prophecies, man. Right? The things that he wrote about or the things that he spoke about in the days of old by his, by his servants, the prophets. They're not going to return unto him void, man. Such as the prophecy that you read about in Revelation 13 and 16, man. Right, where it says he calls if all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark, you know, in their right hand or in their in their foreheads, right? Prophecies like that is not going to uh, return unto the Lord void, man, which is the mark of the beast. You know, you read about, um, um, you know, the, the, the free wars, right, which is the free uh, world wars in Revelation 11 and 14, right? That's a prophecy that's not going to return unto your house, Bashmah, Shai, void, man, right? You see all these um, great things, all these great prophecies, they're going to come to pass, Right, so I read this one more time. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right, so what we're telling you is that this prophecy of the mark of the beast, right, which you read about in Revelation 13 and 16, is going to come to pass, man. Right, and as it says in um, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, at the end it shall speak. Right, now it's speaking, man. Right, because you've got videos. You got uh, news stations that are speaking regarding you know this implantable microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, so hey, you Jakes out there, you need to uh, you know seek your how much mouth shy while you may be found, man, because the Lord is about to bring death and destruction, and then he's about to you know hide his face. You know, meaning what you're gonna hide this knowledge, man. So with that, I'm gonna close out by giving all praises, honors, and glory to your how much mouth shy, right? By Hashem Rakakudash, double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth. And your how about Shmuel Shai Bahashem Rakakodash Brakatham to the elect of Israel. Shalom.